In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect or secure your home Wi-Fi router from hackers. Hacking is getting more and more easier and uh, happening every day. You hear on the news uh, how many companies have been hacked, this one has been hacked and that one. You know, it's, it's getting worse with um, uh, things like uh, ChatGPT. It's very easy now. Go to um, Microsoft Copilot. You just just check and they will give you a list of things you need to do you now. And uh, before you know it, the young man is already a hacker and then he begins to terrorize people around him. So it's getting worse. And, uh, you know, the small networks are not left out. Nobody is going to spare you because you are just using a home router, a, a small network. So it is very important that you secure your network. So I'm going to give you some tips on what you need to do to secure your network. Number one, turn on your firewall. And that's very important. Make sure that your firewall is turned on. Except you're using a, a, a router that does not have firewall, but the modern routers all have firewall. So log into it and turn it on. Number two, avoid the use of hotspot. If your device has hotspot, please, I will say don't use it because hotspot will increase your vulnerability because hotspot will enable any device connect. And then when you connect, you then enter username and password. And somebody who knows what he's doing can connect and with that, will be able to gain full access to the network. So do not use hotspot except you know exactly what you are doing. You are good at it or you are even using the next generation firewalls then you, know, you don't have a problem all right number three do not use default settings some people will buy router and as they bring it from the market they connect it don't change username they don't change password username is user password is admin or some one two three four five six or password is password and you're using it like that you're doing that thing you are just inviting hacker in fact it's like you're sending a mail to someone and inviting the person with your admin credentials and you're saying i'm available please come and hack me <laughs> that kind of thing so Avoid leaving your devices at default. Make sure you change your username and password. I mean, username and password. Try, if possible, change your IPs, change your SSID, and all that. Very, very important. Number four, turn off port forwarding. If port forwarding is on, make sure you turn it off so that somebody will not gain access to your network and you will not even know you are there. Somebody is operating your network and you don't know what is happening. And <laughs> come back. So turn off. Port forwarding. Port forwarding allows anybody from the internet to have access to your network. The person may not even be close to you, but the person can have access to your network. That's why it's not good to allow port forwarding on. Okay. The next thing I will recommend you do is create strong username and password. Admin username and password. Your, your password should not be password. It should not be 123456. It should not be your name. It should not even be one word. If possible, use a phrase. Yeah, add numbers, special characters, okay? It's going to give you some measure of protection. I know there's nothing 100% secure on the internet, actually, but it's going to make it at least difficult for that guy that has been waiting to hack you, all right? That's why it's important as you to think these steps I'm talking about now, okay? Create strong password, and as well, you can add at least two-factor authentication. Yeah, you have connected a device without a username and password. It should still be able to check whether a device is allowed to operate on that network. Use a two-factor authentication, okay? Do mark binding so that it will check through and see, is this device allowed? Yeah, then it can browse. Another one that is also very similar is create access list. The access list is a list of devices that you have allowed to operate on your network. Finally, see how you specify the number of devices, Wi-Fi devices you want to connect to your network. You have 10 Wi-Fi devices, allow only 10 Wi-Fi devices to connect. Don't leave it for 20 devices, leave it for 30 devices. You know, by default, these small Wi-Fi routers, they connect about 30 mm -hmm. uh, devices. And don't leave it open like that. If you have only five, open it for only five devices. That's very important. It's going to help you. Some people will own their Wi-Fi. And before you know it, their data is finished. They are using unlimited internet, but it is very slow. Somebody <laughs> is hiding behind and is doing that thing. 
Okay, so these are the seven tips that will help you to keep your own Wi-Fi or even maybe in your office is going to help you to keep that safe. So let's go over to the router now. Let me show you. You may not be using the same network with uh, the same device with mine, but at least it's going to guide you on what to do. So let's look into the device now and do this setting. Okay, so I'm on my router right now. Um, I'm using it here. So... Uh, one of the things I've, I've mentioned now, uh, I said you should enable firewall. So let's go back to firewall. So this is firewall now. And as you can see, it's disabled. So what you want to do is to come over here and click enable it. And the firewall has been turned on. So you do that and you click apply. Firewall is on. Then the next thing we talk about, number one is enable, fire, enable firewall. Number two, we say that we should avoid the use of passport. Of course, on this one, I don't have passport. But anyway, check your own in the provision of passport. It's not advisable. Then next thing is that we should not allow default settings. Okay, so I want to come over to this place. I don't want to use default settings. So here, SSID, need to change the SSID because leaving that SSID also is going to make it easier for, for the hacker. Who knows what your SSID is? He knows the device, he knows the network you're using. So you come here and change the SSID, SSID to whatever you want it to be. ID, call it anything IT. All right, change the SSID. Or security make sure we are using wpa2 or we're using wpa2 slide wpa3 gives you higher uh, level of security and then i also change your password that's very very important change your password then what again if you don't know what it is there all you need to do is just come down and check a lot of the route. They give you details of what all those features there, what they stand for. So you do that. If you need to create a guest SSID, come here and enable it. Also do that. Create a guest SSID, create a password and make sure that they are able to log in as well. If you come to advance, under advance, you can change the number, change this for the number of devices that can connect. Set mine to four, so the concurrent users, only four persons can build the internet all at the same time. Wi-Fi devices, I have, uh, I think about six at home, Wi-Fi devices, but I've allowed it to, but only four Wi-Fi devices. And then as I come down to coverage, leave my coverage to short. I don't want to do it long. Some people Wi-Fi can go as far as no. I left it as short. Anybody that want to hurt me must come close to my house. At least They're either at my door or at my veranda. Before you can hack me, because this one doesn't go far. All right. So I left it at short there. Depending on your coverage anyway. We can choose to use medium or we can still use long. But for me, the whole idea is we must come close. And the short I, I'll use the, of course, the kitchen, in the room, ch uh, children room everywhere, the Wi-Fi covers. So I don't have a problem with that. Then let's get over. Let's see. see come back to advanced setting. And the firewall, we have done this. Uh, I've, got, I've gone to firewall. And uh, um, the next thing is make sure that you check your updates. If there's a new firmware, make sure that you install. So I've allowed this one to check for new version at any time. Once the company releases any updates, it to check if it's available to let me know. And of course, I'm going to I'm going to install that. So right now, I can check and it's into it. See. If there's any new one, it will let me know. It will take some time when no new version fell. So, okay, I'm fine. Don't have any problem. All right. If there's any one, make sure you install. It's going to help you. Those firmwares, most times, they are security patches that's made available to you. If you don't install your updates, your router can be at risk anytime. It means that there's a new vulnerability that the company has discovered. 
and they have brought in a new update to take care of it. But if you don't install it, that's how people get hurt. As we talk, you, you see that people just use softwares. They use even had, hardware, something of 10, five years ago. It's not updates. They think they, they should know it. Of course, very full to update. Refusing to, to pay attention should be no. That's not good enough. So come to port forward, like I said, and make sure your port forward in it is disabled. Or just post forward and check here. We'll see. Because it's just saying that if a request comes from outside my network and it comes to you, the router forward it to this particular place. That's what port forwarding. So let's go. These are some of the things. And uh, I think the last thing, let's go over to device access. Now, as you come over to device access, you're going to see I've added only these devices as allowed. I've added five devices. And out of the five, these two are online now. But even though I've added five, only four can be online at the same time. Like I said earlier, only four have allowed online at the same time. Three phones, one up top. And then for these ones now, I can also come here and say when I want them to be online. If I come and click on add new, I can say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when I want them to be online, I can say it here. And as well, I can give the time. I want to take it out. I'm using this time. This is, this is our, this is two minutes. So I can give the time when I want a device to be online. Specify it. All right. So that's very, very important. These are things you need to do to make sure that you're, you have a maximum security on your network. I want to forget the Wi-Fi so that I can add it back. Click on settings. Click on the first network, 39E5A1B. Click forget. You can see now, it's not showing connected any, anymore. So I'll go to the router now and remove it. You can see that it's no longer connected, but it's still here. So I'm going to remove it now and start it afresh. Successful. Okay. So I'll go back to the phone now and add it. Oh, as I touch it on the phone, it's asking me to enter password. Okay. So I'm going to enter password now, you see. As I try to enter password, my recording app turns off the screen. Enter the password now and I'm connecting. And you will see it's come up shortly. Connecting now, you can see it there. And it says that you did what? Access to network failed because I have removed it from the router. So I'm going to say OK now. And I'll go back to the router and connect it. This is denied it failed. So I'll go to the router, add it. successfully added. So let's go back to the phone now. This is the phone now. I'm going to connect it. It's connecting. What's it saying? It's connected. You get it? So that's security. At least that's what I refer to as multi-factor authentication. You can see it there. And that's fine. So that's that's how to handle it. You can now see it in the list of online devices. So thank you very much for staying true with me. It's been a pleasure. If you like this content, just uh, subscribe. And if you have any question, drop it in the comment section.